Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can separate the windows or walls uh, on one side of the building. So let's open a new file. I would like to go with symmetric architectural template. I want to go with uh, meters, but uh, feel free to go with uh, millimeters if you prefer. And uh, let's say maybe I have a set of walls here. Uh, I don't want to go rectangular because I want to show you that this is going to work even if uh, it's in two steps like this. Uh, let's also put some windows here. Maybe I can go with a window like this one. I'm going to put some windows here. Maybe I'll put some windows on the other side. Uh, feel free to use array or something. Let's say maybe I would like to go with array. Uh, let's say I have uh, four windows here, uh, so I can create four in here. Uh, and I'll just put some other windows here just to show that um, how it's going to work in the schedule. Okay, so uh, now if I get a window schedule, let's go to view. I would like to go with uh, schedules. I'm interested in uh, windows. What do I want to know? Uh, I want to know how many windows do I have? What's the type? You can also add type mark if you want. I also want to know what's the width and what's the height. So I would like to also add height of the window. Okay, and I would also like to know uh, what's the grand totals for the area which I get in a little bit so I would say okay so first if I want to get the area of the windows I can just add a calculated um, basically column here and I want to name it as the area of the windows what's the formula or actually let's uh, set this first what's the type it's an area What's the formula? It's going to be width multiply, which is shift and number 8, by height. OK and OK. So it put it there. Let's go to fills, edit it. I want to move the area of the windows all the way down. It's now over there. Also, I would like to have the total area. So I want to go to the fields. Um, and I would like to go to formatting and area of the window. I want to get the totals. For this to work, you need to have a check mark here under sorting grouping as well. Now, this is all the windows on all the sides. Uh, let me put the two views side by side using WT. How can I get one side? Right, that's the question. So for this, we're gonna define a parameter. So I would like to go to manage. I'm looking for a project parameter. I'm going to name it as orientation. Orientation. I'll leave it as instance. It should not be type because it's per window, not per type. I'm going to apply it to walls and windows. So walls, windows, maybe curtain panels because uh, the area of those also matters related to their uh, orientation. Uh, I will leave this as a number, so I would go with a number. Uh, okay, so the type is, excuse me, type of parameter. That's what I was looking for. I want to go with a number here. Uh, okay, it's not necessarily alphabetical. So number, everything looks good. I will say okay and okay. Uh, so I think I have no typo, so that's good. Right. So what happens right now, if I select a window or a wall, if I scroll down, I have a parameter called orientation and it's instance. So it's in my properties menu. Right. So if I select this stuff, if you are not sure what you have selected, go to filters. I have two windows and walls. I want to assign, let's say one to the orientation. Um, the reason I put number, I didn't put north, west, uh, and so on is that maybe the top of the uh, screen is not necessarily north. So I would go with numbers. I want to assign maybe one to the north. So this is on the north side. This is also on the north side. 
uh, when you are doing the calculations for uh, the uh, ratio of opening, both these are the north side. So I want to go with number one here too. Again, check what you are selecting. I'm selecting one wall and one window. If you have curtain panels, that could be also part of your selection. Uh, let's say maybe two is for my uh, east side. You know, when you draw a window from top to bottom, it's going to select everything that you have selected completely so four items are selected i want to assign orientation number two to my east side so you should know which is which i'm gonna assign three here i'm gonna assign number four here and i'm gonna assign number four to this wall as well it does not have any windows Okay, now how do I relate it to my uh, schedule? I can just go to the schedule tab. So now the properties shows the properties of the schedule. Under fields, see that orientation is added here. It was not here before. Now it's added. Okay, so you see these are the orientations. Let's say maybe I want to get the ones, the area of the ones which are on the north side. I would go to fields and uh, I would go to sorting or actually filter. This is better. I want to say if orientation equals one, show it in the schedule. So this is now only the values for the north side windows, which is uh, these two and this one. So the area of the all the windows on this side is 8 square meters in this file. You can do the same thing for your wall schedule and then uh, actually we can do it right now if you want. I want to select all instances of the walls in the entire project. Let's say maybe they only go to level 2 and I want to go to my view, get a schedule. This time it's going to be a wall schedule. Wall schedule, that's good. What do I want? Uh, again, I want uh, count type. Feel free to add type mark if you want, if you have added a type mark. And uh, I can directly get the area actually. I don't need to uh, do that multiplication. We already have the area here and I also need the orientation that we created. Why is it there? Because I assigned orientation parameter not just to windows but to walls and curtain panels as well. Uh, I want to also go to grand totals here. Okay, and I want to go to filter. I want to get the orientation equals one. So only the walls on the north side. And I want the total value for area. You can also get the total values for count if you want. Uh, calculate totals, okay. So I want to make this a bit larger. How about I go with WT here? Okay, so here, uh, as, as long as the orientation is the same, which is the one for the north side, as I decided about it, uh, the amount of opening on the north side, which is the area of these windows relative to the area of these two walls on the north side that facing north uh, is 8 meters to 57 right so it's 8 to 57 uh, times 100 so in this case the ratio of the opening on the north side facade is 14 percent uh, you can do the same thing for your curtain panels let's say uh, if instead of this window this wall was a storefront wall okay now i only have two windows right uh, so if I go to schedules and if I get curtain panel schedule, curtain panels, that's good. And I want to get again, uh, maybe the number. I want to know the type, the type mark. If you have assigned a type mark. I want to know the area. Again, we have the area and orientation should be here because I also assigned it to curtain panels. 
uh, and again the same thing here I would go with grand totals and in the filter I want to go with orientation equals one uh, for north side is one for east side all of these you should have set them to two or something and for the formatting for the area and for the count I want to get calculate totals okay and now you see it's not showing anything because I actually forgot to assign orientation so I want to go with WT here so we see all the schedules I want to assign uh, actually let's see if I can only select the panels which in this case seems I have five of them and I want to assign one to the orientation now you see uh, I see the panel schedule here so the reason it was empty before was that uh, I had not assigned number one to its parameter now if you want to see what's the area of opening to the whole wall area for the north side that uh, includes two windows and a set of curtain panels and one solid wall over there is going to be 5 square meters plus 15 over 58 so in this case it's 20 square meters uh, divided by 58 times 100 so 34 percent 34 and a half is the ratio of opening on the north side including windows and uh, curtain panels so this is important because um, the larger the openings are the larger this value is the more heat transfer you're gonna have because we're gonna have um, insulation on that wall which is opaque but we don't have insulation here we will go with double pane or triple pane glasses but it still is not as energy efficient as having um, the insulation on the opaque walls. Uh, I actually made a mistake here. Uh, if I see this in 3D, I just assigned uh, basically the orientation number one to the panels on the bottom, but it needs to be assigned to the panels at the top too. So uh, what I can do is that I can maybe in this case, I can uh, select one of these. I want to go with all instances in entire project because I have them only on one wall and I want to change one to orientation. Now, as soon as I apply it, you see that basically I have 25 square meters of curtain panels. It's not uh, 15. Uh, so that is 25 the window area on the north side is 5 so it's 30 square meters the area of this wall including the windows as well as the storefront wall together is 58 right so uh, 25 plus 5 is 30 over 58 so the opening on this side uh, is actually 51.7 percent close to 52 percent so if I want to have this amount of opening on the north side uh, the amount of openings on the other side should be less because uh, in our project we are not supposed to have more than 40 percent of opening on all the sites uh, but at the same time we also need to know what is that percentage on each of the sites uh, north east south and west uh, that's it for this video thank you very much please like and subscribe for more videos